Dexter Datacraft and Magic. Any ideas what it is? What does it sound like? Another gamers from Romania? <laughs> the Warcraft improved? Um, close guess, but not. Actually, these people are our first B2B enterprise today. Uh, we do hope that they will conquer the enterprise software market of unknown domain. We've spent a number of mentoring sessions trying to figure out what they do. Uh, we have different theories about it. Have a look at what Yasen will present today about their innovative search solutions and we'll discuss afterwards. Hello everyone. This all sounds very mysterious, doesn't it? I'm going to try to dissolve the uh, mystery a little bit. I hope I'll, I'll be successful. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about a dependency we all have on search engines in our personal and professional lives. We find our stuff in, on, the internet, on, on the internet or other big data stores and the time we spend doing all that. Now imagine for a minute that you have your own search engine that will only give you relevant results without noise and results that are available to use, uh, to use <laughs> available to you to use immediately. And why is this a problem? Over the last years, the internet content has actually more than double, currently standing at, at close to the staggering 65 petabytes of data. If you were to look for truffles in 1990, you would end up with something like 300 results. Now, you can read them all, you can find what you're looking for, but if you, if you were to do the same search today, you would actually have to deal with around 8 million results. Now, is it realistic that you could read all of these? And is it realistic to expect that you can, you will find all of the all of the ones that are relevant that are relevant to what you're looking for? I don't think so. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today search engines actually are not enough to find the relevancy you're after. They need search engines. You need people, and the process is vaguely uh, largely ineffective. It's slow, thus it's expensive. <coughs> <coughs> Can this be helped? Yes, it can. This is exactly where we come in. We use a number of algorithms, very cool, very high tech. We also use uh, some proprietary technology to do our craft with the data. Then we add our magic to make these wheels spin in the exact direction so you can get the relevancy you're after. We also offer you total control and custom, custom configuration ability. Is anyone interested in what we actually do? Yes, there are. Currently, we're working on uh, one of the projects we're currently working on is EMEA. There are consultants who produce um, reports and other me media digest materials to cover the uh, energy market for solar panel, the market for solar, solar panels in uh, Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary. And they used the scenario where they used the search engines with the people and they needed automation. We gave it to them, they're happy they can now serve more clients. Apart from INEA, we're working with the other clients at the moment. Uh, some of them are actually partners of ours, and we're talking to others, including Gartner at the moment. <clears throat> now, the world spent $13 billion on big data last year. This number is expected to grow to 50 billion by the year 2020. Obviously, this is a market that attracts some attention. We have competition, which is surprisingly represented by just a handful of companies. And what makes us different is that while our competition solutions require substantial processing power and somewhat outdated technology, we are next generation, very cool, much better algorithms. But what really makes a difference is that we give total control and custom configuration ability in the hands of the user. <coughs> why wasn't Google in that list? And why isn't any other search engine in this list? The reason is we don't compete. The popular search engines, they're made for all mankind to use for their general use. And we are focused, user-centric research tools. How does it work? With popular, with popular um, Search engines, uh, you input one or more keywords and you get some results. With us, you input a whole phrase, a whole paragraph, a whole document, a whole sheaf of documents. 
we find out what the context of what, of what you're looking for is, and we give you the relevance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a dream. This dream is to ultimately be able to design and develop a series of vertical specific search portals that will enable the user to directly benefit from our technology. And we plan to get there, and we can in roughly two ways. One of them is to continue what we're doing right now, building components and bespoke services for our clients and partners. <coughs> the other one is to get additional financial backup, which will be just a short success. Who are we to so boldly want to conquer the data mining world? Well, in our team we have a couple of brilliant data processing engineers and software developers. We also have someone to take care of our services, services to keep them alive. We have someone to make things beautiful and we have me, the sales guy. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to quit using Google, but the next time you need focused, user-centric research tools, talk to us. Thank you very much.